when I met with the community engagement team, Uralis community engagement team, with regards to um, planning or pre-planning for the NDIS, um, that was wonderful because up until then I was quite apprehensive. It's it's a major life change. They walked me through a booklet and they said, that, you know, make sure you know this, make sure you know what you have now, what you need, what you're going to need. And so that helped immensely and that allayed my fears and my anxiety to a, a great extent. I had someone from therapy come out and working out what I would need in terms of therapy, so boots, um, funding for maintenance of my wheelchair, and I was going to need, a new, I use a high-low bed, and I was going to need a new high-low bed. People need to know in their planning meeting for the NDIS about their current supports that they're getting, uh, their, their unmet need in terms of equipment and um, uh, maybe therapy, um, and um, their goals. Pretty much all my services have been with your LRA and will continue to be so, because I'm happy. Why would you change something that's, you know, not broken? Um, but I, this way, if I want more, more services in other areas, I'm able to um, go to them and, 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 and use them. I, I've always had wheelchairs, but I've had to pay for tyres and tubes in terms of maintenance. And whenever I've needed a new wheelchair, I've had to top up the funding now that will be fully funded. Likewise with any other equipment I get. So in my current plan, I'm going to need new boots. So I'm getting, that's in my current plan. I need a new high-low bed and all the maintenance and for that will be funded um, through the NDIS. For the residential service, in terms of what I have now from them, it's going to be fully funded. To be going through the NDIS process, I think in the long run, it, it, it's going to be okay. It's a little bit like being in, a, in a, a family relationship or a relationship. Sometimes you're apprehensive, sometimes you're angry, and sometimes you're happy. And I think in the long run, it's going to be a happy relationship.